Los Angeles. The biggest game show in television history just got bigger. Tonight, one player could now walk away with over $4 million. This is Super Green. Ladies and gentlemen, Chuck Woolery. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Welcome to Super Green, where the top money values are doubled and one player could walk away, listen to this, with over $4 million. A lot of money. A lot of money. Our rules have uh, changed slightly for Super Green. We've eliminated the qualifying question, and we've determined our players' positions by lot. So before we get started with our $25,000 question, let's meet our first group for Super Green. Kathy Sweet. Santa Clara, California. I'm a full-time mom, and I love to go to boot camp. Brian Carpenter. Brownsville, Texas, physical therapist. My hands are my fortune. John Cassie. Dallas, Texas. I'm a teacher whose students gave him a sweet send-off. Dennis Frazier. Dallas, Texas, software engineer in art sales, and I'm really good at keeping a secret. Rachel Malkenhorst. Downey, California, jewelry designer, and I'm mad about karaoke. All right, welcome, everybody. You've worked hard to get here. Congratulations. You're going to be playing for uh, $4 million, so it's really exciting. Every group has a common foe. Uh, here's yours. It's the Tower of Greed. Let me go over it real quick for you because it's changed. We start at $25,000 and $25,000 increments. You work your way up to $100,000. There we double it to $200,000, and we jump right into a $1 million for the next question. We double that at $2 million, and guess what? We double that four million dollars you're eight questions away from four million so rachel are you ready to play you know the rules absolutely let's play super greed hi kathy how are you i'm doing well thanks Welcome. chuck yeah thanks. so uh, you go to boot camp is that right what kind of boot camp do you attend it's kathy? an exercise class at my gym and we do calisthenics you know push-ups pull-ups squats lunges army abs just it's, like the marines it's it's led by a former army oh guy. is that right well mm -hmm. he probably won't have, be happy i said marines but <laughs> army guy well close enough kathy welcome to the show Thanks. here is your twenty-five thousand dollar question good luck in the world of finance what phrase describes a dependable stock with a long record of steady earnings bull chip Bear chip, blue chip, cow chip. <laughs> um, I'm not a stock expert, but I do have some experience, and I'm going to say blue chip. Okay, Rachel, she says blue chip. You accept or reject that? I accept that answer. She accepts that answer. $25,000 for blue chip. Yes. Well, you're on your way. Keep that 25. You want to risk it? Oh, keep going. Keep going, she says. Keep going. All right. Uh, so, uh, Brian, your hands are your fortune, are they? That's right. Why is that? Well, I'm a physical therapist on one side of it, and I've had a long career as a hand model. Oh, I've, is that right? Yes. I, my hands were Joe Namath's hands in a cologne commercial, and they were also the murderer's hands in a feature film with Lauren McCall. Hey, guys, maybe I can use his hands for the spread on the, uh, on the money. Is that possible? No? Okay. No. Sorry, Brian. Just nice trying try. to get you another job. Yeah. <laughs> well, Brian, here is your $50,000 question. Good luck. Thanks. In what city are you most likely to see Cockneys? Paris, London, Rome, Hoboken. <laughs> Well, Chuck, I believe you're most likely to see uh, Cockneys. I believe it's a, a form of an English dialect, so I would choose London. He says London, Rachel. Accept or reject? I absolutely accept that. Accept that? Is it London for $50,000? Yes, it is. Oh, we're moving right along here. Keep it. Gotta go. How you doing, John? Hi, Chuck. Good. You got a sweet send-off from your student. What do you teach, John, by the way? Um, I teach high school. Teach and I teach school? a lot of different things in the and, high school. Uh, and, and what the is your students who made do? me a cake. Oh, they did? Uh, yeah, it was a lovely cake, too. Uh, it was uh, my juniors, and it said, have your cake and eat it, too. <laughs> Be greedy. Um, very great, uh, great kids. I, I like it. it. I like it a lot. And John? 
Here is your $75,000 question. Be greedy and get it. Let's hope. According to the label on its can, how many calories are in a 12-ounce can of Diet Coke? Zero, two, five, ten, twenty. I drink an extraordinary amount of Diet Coke. And I am positive, almost positive, that it is, in fact, zero. He's positive, almost positive, that it's zero, right? What do you think? I drink no Diet Coke, and I am going to go with your zero. Okay, I'll take your zero and raise your one. Okay. Here we go, John. Is it zero? $75,000. Yes, it is. From a man who knows. I thought that was a little tricky, because it could have been two calories or something. something. You almost kind of had to read the label, so that was, that was real good. Okay, yeah. Rachel. 75,000, what are you going to do? Keep going. Keep on going, she I'm says. All hey, Dennis. It. Hey, Chuck. How are you? Just fine, thanks. Good. How good at secrets are you, Dennis? You said you're good at them. Well, uh, pretty good. Uh, I met my wife at work, and uh, while there were no improprieties, we didn't want to give any visions of improprieties, so we managed to keep our relationship secret for about seven or eight months. Really? So nobody there knew that. Uh, nobody at the water cooler? No nothing no going on there? No gossip at the water cooler or anything. We sprung it on them at the uh, company Christmas party, actually, when yeah. they saw us together for the first time. I see. All right. All right. And you've been together how long now? Uh, we've been together for three years now. Congratulations, oh, Dennis. Thank you. Don't keep a secret on this. This right. is a $100,000 question. Let's share the answer with everybody. Here we go. William Rehnquist, David Souter, and John Paul Stevens are all member of, members of what? Backstreet Boys, the New York Yankees, the United States Supreme Court, World Wrestling Federation, to the current cast of Saturday Night Live. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I'm certain that Rehnquist, Souter, et al. are members of the United States Supreme Court. Accept or reject, Rachel? I accept. And accept that answer. U.S. Supreme Court, $100,000. You bet. Well, Rachel and uh, group, four questions away from $4 million. Getting really close now. Questions get a little bit harder, Rachel. Uh, each question now has four correct answers. You're going to depend on these uh, folks over here, all these players, to help you. You want to keep that $100,000, or would you like to risk it? I'd like to risk it. You want to risk it? Yes. Well, before you tell me, even though you just told me, let's listen to the category. Movie musicals. Now, do you feel the need? I feel the need for greed. Absolutely. the sound of the Terminator. We're going to be back to play it and see just how far this group makes it up the Tower of Super Greed. Watch them climb. Four million dollars. We'll be back. Welcome back to Super Greed, everybody. Let's activate the Terminator now. Kathy. Terminator has chosen you, Kathy. Is there anybody here that you'd like to call out, challenge to a one-question showdown? Take their position and their money, and I'll give you $10,000, win or lose. I think I'm going to challenge Brian. Brian. Here we go, Brian. Okay, Brian, since you've been challenged, you'll be on this side. Okay. Kathy, you'll be here. Here is $10,000 for you. Okay, I'm going to ask you a question. Remember, you can buzz in any time you think you know the answer. The winner will take the loser's share of the pot. Play for $80,000. Loser will be out of the game. Good luck to both of you. Are you ready? Ready. Here we go. According to the popular tongue twister, how many pickled peppers did Peter Piper pick? Okay, Kathy. A peck. A peck. She got you. She got you. Right over here. Woo! All right, congratulations, Kathy. Thank you got you. a lot of money there. You're going to be playing for $80,000. Everybody else is playing for $40,000. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your $200,000 question. Good luck. 
I said it was movie musicals. Which four of the following six songs can be found on the soundtrack of the hit movie Grease? Beauty School Dropout, Greased Lightning, Suddenly, Summer Nights, Look at Me, I'm Sandra D. I Honestly Love You. Okay, that sound means that you're uh, deserving of a greed freebie. That's good any time from here on out to take away one wrong answer. You may use it now or you can elect to use it later. It's up to you. Oh, hold on. Hold on to it. Okay, so we're going to play. Kathy, give me a correct answer, please. I saw this movie more than once when I was a kid, and I'm going to say Beauty School Dropout. That's one. John? I was in this play in high school. No question. Look at me. I'm Sandra Dick. That's two. Dennis? I love this movie, and I love the song Grease Lightning. So, and I know that was there. Grease Lightning. That's three. Rachel? I'm going to have to say Summer Nights. That's four. Anything there you'd like to change, Rachel? Since you're the captain, you can change one answer if you want. I feel very confident in this. Do you? Yes. Anybody else feel pretty good about this? Well, let's see how we do. Grease lightning. Yes, Look at me, I'm Sandra D. Summer Nights. Yeah. Okay. Three. Oh, here's that old twenty thousand dollars. Uh, should I show you this? Are you even interested in this money? No, at all? I. You can you just keep don't, it. You just don't even want to talk about it. No, I can tell. You I... have that. You have that look on your face, like get away, Chuck. I don't want to touch it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right, I'm going. I'm going to take your. I'm going to take your lead and get away. All right. <laughs> For $200,000, Beauty School Dropout. Yes, $200,000. Well, the next stop is $1 million, and we're going to see if you want to take a chance on that. Before you decide whether you want to go or whether you want to stay, let me give you the category of your million-dollar question. The category is famous ads. Now, do you want to keep the 200000 or do you want to risk it? We're going to stay. You're going to keep the 200000 yeah. All righty. Well, congratulations. Congratulations, Rachel. So right down much. here to meet your uh, group. Uh, very nicely done. Very nicely done. I'm sorry. Everybody's got some money. Everybody seems happy. I think a few people want to stay, though, yeah. yeah. All right. Hold it up. We're going to be right back with our new players right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to Super Green. Let's meet our new players. Andrew Kleinwax. Morris Plains, New Jersey, administrative manager, and I'm a diligent duffer. Lisa Steigers. Silver Delaware, accountant, and I had a 10-minute marriage. Andrea Tackner. Calabasas, California. I'm a retail account manager, and I used to sing about meat. Jeffrey Gouda. Rose Point, Michigan, journalist. And sometimes I like to talk to frogs. John Epperson. Palmdale, California, inspector. I'm a total cyber guy. All right, welcome, everybody. You've worked hard to get this far, I know. Congratulations. Every group has a common foe. In this case, we call it the Tower of Greed. Let's get into it because it's changed a little bit. We start at $25,000 in $25,000 increments. We work our way up to $100,000. We double that to $200,000. We move directly to $1 million. Double that at $2 million. And guess what? The grand total, $4 million. You're eight questions away from $4 million. So, John... As captain, you have the responsibility to uh, lead this team. You're going to decide just how far you can take this group up the Tower of Super Greed. You can stop after any correct answer, keep the cash. You can also reject any answer and replace it with one of, uh, one of your own. You know the rules. So if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's play Super Greed. How you doing, Andrew? Good, Chuck. How are you? I'm fine. Thank Good. you. 
Uh, you're a diligent duffer. What exactly do you mean by that? Well, I guess first I should say I'm no threat to Tiger Woods. Uh, <laughs> and but none of us are. <laughs> I have a little problem um, with reversing my bowling and my golf scores. It seems that I'm golfing a perfect 300, but bowling two under par. <laughs> welcome to the welcome to the club. <laughs> well, I hope this goes a little better for you, Andrew. I hope and so, here is your $25,000 question. Good luck. The Lazy Boy Company is world famous for its production of what? Recliners, sleeping pills, microwave ovens, TV remote controls. Chuck, you're, you're talking to the original Lazy Boy, so uh, I'm gonna have to say it's a recliner. He says recliners, John. Accept or reject? I accept that answer. Okay, no. $25,000. Is it recliners? Pretty safe there. 25,000. Gonna keep it? Move on? Going on? Hey, Lisa. Hi. How are you? I'm doing really well. Good. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Now, you were married for 10 minutes. <laughs> That's not very... How did that happen? No, it's actually... Um, I got married at a drive through wedding chapel in Las Vegas, and it took approximately 10 minutes. Oh. Roll up, you know, give your information, and you're gone. So <laughs> how, how long ago was that? That was about three and a half years ago. We're still together. So you definitely got your money worth. Yeah, we did. There you go. <laughs> I think he did more so than me. Yeah. Well... <laughs> Congratulations, Thank and you. here we go with your $50,000 question, Lisa. Lisa, you want to complete this popular ad jingle, give me a break, give me a break, break me off a piece of what? It's give me a break, give me a break, break me off a piece of Mrs. Smith's pie, <laughs> Kit Kat bar, Chips Ahoy cookie. Kentucky Fried Chicken. Oh, you sing very well, <laughs> Chuck. <laughs> this is one of my favorite foods. Um, I'm 100% sure that it's Kit Kat Bar. This is Kit Kat Bar, John. I accept that answer. I love those uh, myself. Give me a break. Is it Kit Kat Bar for $50,000? Yeah. All right. Well, we're having fun getting there. You got 50 grand. Keep on going, he says. Hi, Andrew. Hi, Chuck. Very good, thank you. Good. Now, uh, you sang about meat. <laughs> what exactly did you sing about when you sang well, about meat? back in my high school days, I worked at the local Renaissance Pleasure Fair. Uh -huh. And the name of the uh, attraction, the food stand I worked at, was called Steak on a Steak. Steak shish steak, kebabs. Steak on a stick? Steak on a steak. Steak on a steak. Steak on a steak. Shish kebabs. So we used to have to sing about steak on a steak, so people t entice people to come by. Oh, I see. And buy our food. Thank you. <laughs> steak on a steak, that's that old medieval kind of thing. Right, right yeah. exactly. Okay. All right, well, welcome to the show, Andrea. Thank you. Good luck. Here is your $75,000 question. Andrea, traditionally, where should a dapper man wear his boutonniere? On his shoes, his boxer shorts, on his tie, on his cuff, on his lapel. Well, Chuck, uh, hopefully they wear the boutonniere on his lapel. She says lapel, John, except for reject. Except that answer. $75,000. Is it lapel? Yeah. All right. Getting closer all the time, John. Gotta keep going. Gotta keep going. Risking, risking that $75,000 on you, Jeffrey. How you doing, Chuck? I'm doing fine. Talk to frogs, is that right? Yeah, well, as part of an old job I had, I would interview celebrities and actors for their parts in films, and the most rewarding one I think I interviewed was Kermit the Frog and the great Gonzo. I sat down for 30 minutes and had a nice conversation with them. Isn't that Jim Henson, right? Well, this was actually post-Jim Henson, oh, but I it see. was still the, some of the core guys were still there. That must be exciting. Pretty yeah. 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 Well, welcome to the show, Jeffrey. Thank Good you. luck to you. Here is your $100,000 question. All right. Jeffrey, which of the following is not a standard size box of regular Crayola crayons? 16 crayons, 24 crayons, 48 crayons, 64 crayons, 75 crayons. Wow, standard size box of regular Crayola crayons. Uh, racking my memories from my childhood, I remember having a 64 box crayon, so... I'm going to have to say 75 is not. It says 75, except to reject, John. I'm not 100% sure myself on this, but uh, that was my first uh, 
My first, first guess, guess too. Your yes. feel was 75? That. Okay, well, you're going to accept it? Yes, I am. Here we go. $100,000. 75 crayons. Four questions away from four million dollars, John. Okay. Now, in this round, the questions get a little harder. Each question has four correct answers. I know you know that. You're going to be depending on all your other players over there to come up with those answers. So your decision is whether you want to keep the hundred thousand you've got so far, or whether you want to risk it on and go for two hundred thousand. Before you decide, let me give you the category. It's money. Money. One of, my favorite, one of my favorite topics. Go Where it? are going? Where are going? All right. All right, that's the sound of the Terminator. We're going to come back and play it right after this and see where it stops. Welcome back to Greed, the show that's given away over $10 million. All right, welcome back to Super Greed. Let's activate the Terminator now. Jeffrey. Terminator's chosen you, Jeffrey. I don't have a lot to base it on, but I'm gonna have to go for uh, Andrew. Andrew, here we go, okay. Come on, Andrew. You're the challenge, you'll be on this side. Jeffrey, you're on this side. Win or lose, you got $10,000, Jeffrey. Congratulations for that. Winner will take uh, the loser's share of the pot, play for $80,000. The loser will be out of the game. I'm gonna ask you a question. You can buzz in any time you think you know the answer. Good luck to both of you. Ready? What is the predominant color of a packet of sweet and low? Jeffrey. Pink. You got it. Sorry, Andrew. You nailed it, buddy. Pretty good if you don't mind. Well, it worked hard to get here. You took it right away from me, Jeffrey. John, Lisa, Andrea, Jeffrey, here is your $200,000 question. Good luck. I said it was money, money, money. Which four of the following six are types of international currency? Drachma, Napa, Schilling, Kobe, Gilder, Shekel. Okay, you got a freebie since you've come this far. You can either use that now or later. It's up to you. It takes away one wrong answer, no matter where you are in the game. We'll go ahead and keep it for now. You're going to keep the freebie? Yep. All right, sir. We're all ready, Lisa. Give me a correct answer. I'm going to go with shilling. Shilling. Andrea. I'm going to go with drachma. Drachma. Jeffrey. I'm going to go with gilder. This is gilder. John, last one's up to you. I'm going to go with shekel. Shekel. All right, there are your four answers, John. You're the captain. You want to accept all those answers, or is there anything you'd like to change? No, I like all four of these. You like all four yes. of them? For $200,000, yes. here we go. All righty, let's take a look at the first one. Drachma. Yes, that is a currency of Greece. Shilling. of Austria. Shekel. We'll still use Shekel in Israel. Well, here we are in super greed, but I still got to try this on you, okay? I don't know how convinced you are Gilder is the right guy, the right currency or whatever. 20,000. Want to keep it? Want to give it back to me? Want to bet it? How do you feel about it? Never held this much money before. It's a lot I of money. Uh, feel good about this answer. Yeah. We're gonna... Let me have my money back then. It's for two hundred thousand dollars. We're looking for Gilder. situation. 
Normally, in regular greed, we would go to a half a million dollars, but guess what? This is super greed. Your next stop is one million dollars. Now, do you want to risk that 200,000, go for a million, or do you want to keep it? That's the question. Let me tell you what the category of your million dollar question is. Movie characters. Movie characters. You feel the need, John. We're going. Gonna go. Here we go. Yeah. All right, that's the sound of the Terminator. We're gonna come back to play it and play for one million dollars right after this. Here we go. Welcome back to Super Great, everybody. Well, this is exciting. We're not only going to play the Terminator, we're going to play for $1 million. Let's activate the Terminator now. Andrea. Terminator's chosen you, Andrea. Anybody you want to call out for $10,000? Well, Chuck, I think I'm going to try to terminate John. Ooh, here we go. John, come on over, buddy. John, you've been challenged. You'll be on this side. Andrea, you are the challenger. You will be on this side. Here is your $10,000. Well, well. A lot of money at stake here. Winner's going to take the loser's share of the pot. Play for $400,000. Loser will be out of the game. Good luck to both of you. Are you ready? Yes. Here is your question. What artist recorded the best-selling country album of all time entitled Come On Over? Uh, John. Shania Twain. That's exactly right. Well, nicely done. You got your 10,000. Thanks for playing. John, very nicely done. <laughs> you know, John, you're going to be playing for $400,000 on this question. Uh, Lisa's going to be playing for $200,000. And Jeffrey's going to be playing for $400,000. Ladies and gentlemen, here is your one million dollar question. Good luck. The category is movie characters. Which of the four following seven actors have played an American president, real or fictional, in a major motion picture? Let me repeat that one more time just so that you fully understand. Which four of the following seven actors have played an American president, real or fictional, in a major motion picture? Here we go. Morgan Freeman, Anthony Hopkins, Paul Newman, Clint Eastwood, Harrison Ford, Michael Douglas, Bruce Willis. You can use your freebie or you can pass on at this time. It's up to you. The next stop is $2 million after this one. I'd like to use the freebie. You're going to use the freebie now. Okay. Took away Clint Eastwood. Here we go. Lisa, give me a correct answer. I remember Michael Douglas. Michael Douglas, that's one. Jeffrey? Uh, Morgan Freeman. That's two. John? They took the two that I uh, was thinking of. Um, I'm going to say Anthony Hopkins. Anthony Hopkins, that's three. Now, John, you can take the fourth or you can pass it off to a player. What are you going to do? I'm going to punt this one over to Jeffrey. Jeffrey? Uh, well, it was Air Force One Harrison Ford. Harrison Ford, he named a picture. Now, John, you can change any one of these answers or you can stay with them. It's up to you. I remember Paul Newman never played a president. I don't recall ever seeing him in a movie where he was a president or Bruce Willis. Bruce Willis, Bruce Willis. go with these four. I'll go with these four. All right. A million dollars on the line. 
How do you guys feel, Jeffrey? Good. How do you feel, Lisa? I'm, I'm hanging in there, Tuck. <laughs> I'm hanging in there. Let's see Michael Douglas. That's one. Morgan Freeman. That's two. Halfway home. Harrison Ford. Okay, now, John, John, give me a moment here. Since this is super greed, it's a little different. Okay. <laughs> yes, I know. Is this, dis is this disgusting or what? <laughs> okay. Uh, John, this is $100,000. I know you know what these look like, but that's $100,000. I don't know how confident you are in Anthony Hopkins. Very. Well... It's up to you. Let me reach down and get this so it doesn't distract anyone. You can keep that 100000 You can distribute it among your players. Or you can go with Anthony Hopkins and see if he's worth $1 million. You know, I'm not 100% sure, but let's go for it. Let me do a little banking over here and get rid of my money. I'm telling you, boy, I really admire your guts. I really do. Well, you're going to see some things change if you get a million dollars. Watch this. Anthony Hopkins for one million dollars. Is it right? Think about that million dollars because things are going to change. Let me tell you how it's going to change, everybody. This is super greed. We got a different thing going on here. Lisa, you got two hundred thousand. Jeffrey, four hundred. John, four hundred. You guys got a lot of money right now. But because you've won the one million dollar, you reached that level. You are now guaranteed two hundred thousand dollars, no matter what happens. So if you go for two million and you lose, you're still going to get two hundred thousand. So we got a little plateau for you, okay? I'll let you think about that for just a second. And let me tell you the category of the $2 million question to see if you want to go on and risk that million. Actually, you're risking $800,000. Okay, ready? It's timeline. The category is timeline. So, you're going to go. Jeffrey, Terminator has chosen you. You're going to keep the team the way it is? You're going to go for somebody. $10,000 at stake. Lots of money. John. Okay, here we go. Yeah, John's going to have it again. On this side, John. Jeffrey over here. Here's your $10,000. That's $20,000 you have now, isn't it? Well, boy, you guys, I'm telling you. You're both great players. Good luck to you. Uh, a lot of money here at stake. The winner is going to take the loser's share of the pot, and the winner will be playing for a million six hundred thousand dollars. The loser is out of the game. Good luck again. Buzz in when you think you know the answer. Here is your question. What animal has breeds called Guernsey and Holstein? John. Cow. We got it. We got you. Jeffrey uh, was terminated. Jeffrey has $20,000 from Terminators, and he also has $80,000 as part of the $200,000. Of course, Lisa, you're going to keep $40,000 no matter what. Yeah. And uh, so everybody's got money. John's doing well. You're doing well. And now John will be playing for $1.6 million. 
Lisa's going to be playing for 400000 Gosh, I'd love to see you guys pull this off. I really would. Okay? All righty. $2 million question. That's what it's going to be. But first, let's take a break. We'll come back. More Super Greed right after this. Stay with us. Welcome back to Super Greed, everybody. Well, if this uh, group of folks here, Lisa and John, win this $2 million question, it'll be more money than anyone's ever won on a game show before. This is exciting. I know it's exciting for you. It's very exciting for me. I hope it's exciting for everybody at home because I get to say, John, Lisa, here is your $2 million question. Good luck. I said it was timeline. Which four of the following eight events happened before the debut of MTV? The original Macintosh computer is introduced. Studio 54 opens. Vanna White turns her first letter on Wheel of Fortune. Sarah Michelle Geller is born. U.S. men's hockey team defeats Soviets for Olympic gold. Barney Clark receives artificial heart. Post-it notes are introduced. Michael Jackson releases Thriller. Well, this is interesting. Two million bucks. So... Lisa, I need an answer from you. Studio 54 opens. Studio 54 opens. That's one. John? The Mac introduced. The original Macintosh computer. That's two. Now, John, since you're captain, you're leading this team, you have the next answer, or you can pass it off to Lisa. I'll, give, I'll let Lisa answer one, another one. Lisa? Post-its were introduced. Post-its were introduced. That's three. John, want to take the last one, or you can again pass it off to her if you like. Uh, no, I'll answer this one. Uh, U.S. hockey wins gold. U.S. hockey wins gold. That's four. Well, you can change one answer if you want, John, or you can keep it the way it is. I do want to change one, but it's which one? I don't remember if Vanna White worked with you or not. I can't remember that. And Barney Clark. I need to get his heart. Those are the two. Um, I know Thriller came out after MTV, and Sarah Michelle Geller is only about 18 years old, which is also pretty close. Well, it says which four of the following eight events happened before the debut of MTV. MTV, I believe, was 1982. So... Man, this is really close. It's uh, tough. It's for $2 million. I know it's tough. I'm definitely going to change one. It's just between uh, Barney Park. Oh, all three these, all three are really tough. I know it's not Thriller. It's one of the other three. I don't remember if Vanna White worked with you or not on Wheel of Fortune. Oh, man. Um... I'm going to change it to, uh, I guess, to Sarah Michelle Geller. Is that her name? Okay, which one are you changing? Post-its. Changing post-its? To uh, Sarah Michelle Geller is born. Okay. Let's change. Those are your four. They're in place. Good luck. Let's see how you do. Studio 54 opens. Is it... Uh, Pre-MTV. It is. That's one. U.S. hockey wins gold. That's two. You changed posted introduced to when, uh, I believe it's uh, Sarah, right? Or Michelle Geller is born. Sarah Michelle Geller. Let's see if Geller is correct. It is, that's three. Well, you're one, one away from $2 million, John. Lisa, I've got a decision for you to make. I normally tempt you with money. In this case, I'm going to tempt you with a car. 
And here's what you can do. Individually, you don't have to do this together. You can make up your mind individually. I'm going to give you a brand new Jaguar 2000 XK8 convertible. It's in the parking lot, okay? It's got every factory option that you can get, with exception of one. It has $75,000 in cash in the trunk. This comes to a total of $150,000. I don't know how confident you are in Macintosh introduced before MTV, but I'm telling you what. Here's the decision you're going to make. You're going to see buttons in front of you. One says car and one says go. Okay? If you want the car, press the yellow button. If you want to go for the two million, press the green. Make your decision now. Are you going, Lisa, or are you going for the car? I'm going for the car, Chuck. You're going for the car. John, car, going for the car. All right, you guys, John, there's your key. Lisa, I'm going to give you your key. I'm going to give you your key, but let me tell you where you would have been, okay? It was wrong. Macintosh. <laughs> He changed it. He changed the wrong one. Congratulations. Lisa, you have how much money she got? She's got $190,000. Is that right? He has $230,000 all together. So congratulations, buddy. Come on out here. Come on. There you go, Lisa. Sorry about that. Congratulations to both of you. You're welcome. A lot of money. Nice car. Congratulations. Really happy for you. Two Jaguars, over $500,000 in cash. Be sure to join us next Tuesday for more of Super Green. It's 9 p.m. Eastern Pacific, 8 Central. It's right here on Fox. See you then. Bye-bye. Tonight, Friday, April 28, 2000. Think you have what it takes to be on Greed? Well, come on along as some New Yorkers take the test. Lost airbags can save a driver's life, but find out why they're putting lots of others at great risk. I probably should say it hurt like hell, but it hurt like hell. It's a Fox 5 special report. Then murder at the mall and the synagogue, a gunman's deadly rampage. And breaking up is hard to do. Bill Gates got some bad news from Washington. The Fox 5 10 o'clock news starts now.